Welcome back. Our guest this morning for the GRE Why Rock segment, U of R's Mark Bacco, the director for the Center of Emerging Innovative Sciences. Got a lot planned for this month's University Technology Showcase coming up the 20th at the Memorial Art Gallery. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. So this event's been going on for many years now. For someone who's just hearing about it, maybe seen it in headlines, what's the goal of it? Who is it for? The, the, uh, the goal is to get representatives of local industry to meet with people from the universities, uh, U of R and RIT primarily, but other university folks come too. And uh, it's basically to make research connections between companies and the universities to find ways that the companies can, uh, can uh, help themselves by using some of the research coming out of the universities. I know it's coming up on the 20th. You're still looking for people to sign up to come yes. out? Yes. Yeah. Um, there's... Uh, um, people can walk in on the 20th yeah. if they wish. Um, if you want to pre-register and have a, a name badge, then uh, you can go to the <laughs> CEIS website and register anytime. It's nice to have, especially for networking, the who's yeah, who to walk right. around. And we just, we're so blessed here in the Finger Lakes with all the schools, the hospitals, these labs, the money that comes in. You know, each year something like $400 million plus of sponsored research. What's the key here in connecting all of that with all these different groups? Yeah, the, all of the, you know, the research goes from biomedical research to uh, manufacturing and er everything in between. And um, the idea is to, uh, the fundamental research results that come out, of course, are published and available to the, the world. But um, there's all kinds of technology transfer opportunities of things developed in the local uh, universities that can can uh, help the companies be more competitive. And so the whole idea is to try to, to move some of that those results out of the labs into commercial applications. What do you think has made it so successful? You've been on this now for more than a decade. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a very simple formula. It's just get people together so they can find connections and start working together. And so it's, we don't have much to do with that other than, than providing the venue and the opportunity for everyone to, to, to meet. And for you personally, what's it like seeing all these connections being made and then watching these teams, these oh, different great. offices yeah. go on? Some of the, the best things that come out of this are you see uh, companies start new product lines and expand and, and then that creates opportunities for the graduates of our programs to, to stay in Rochester and contribute yeah. to the economy in New York State. And so it's very rewarding to see the outcome of some of this. Keep the people here, keep the jobs here, all the innovation. That's the U of R's Mark Bacco, the head of the Center for Emerging and Innovative Sciences. They've got a lot planned coming up on April the 20th at the Memorial Art Gallery, this year's edition of the University Technology Showcase. We're going to have more information on the links. Again, you can walk up that day, go ahead and get signed up, get that name badge, have your spot. We'll have it posted at rochesterfirst.com.